what is a base blade in terms of subwoofer i will just show you some example it is some music that i have played through my subwoofer and just listen to it first of all and i will explain what exactly and where exactly the bass bleed occurs that was a low bass low rumble of a uh, subwoofer because it was actually playing a lowest bass level now listen to another one that is some kind of hard kick there is a hard beat or kick coming from the subwoofer that you can feel on your chest and there at that point you can feel that bass bleed there are several factors that can lead to bass bleed first of all it is related with the amplifier why i am showing this car amplifier is because the term bass bleed is something that we can experience more in a car audio from a car subwoofer so that's why i am showing this car amplifier as an example now you might be thinking about what must be the experience of a bass bleed uh, that is something while that hard kick is coming from the music and the subwoofer start to produce the sound after some after a fraction of a second and it will stay long after the kick ends in the music and um, that's the pro that's the a uh, real bass bleed that we experience from a car audio if you are not clear i will explain once more so technically a bass bleed in terms of a subwoofer refers to the unwanted extension of a bass frequency into the mid range or higher frequency regions causing a muddiness or a lack of clarity in the overall sound so that's the term what we call bass bleed and that is mainly related with the car amplifier damping factor the damping factor of a amplifier must be higher then only it can control the subwoofer control the speed of the subwoofer so if the damping factor of the amplifier is low maybe around 100 or something then you can experience a bass bleed even if all the factors are done correctly the exact damping factor must be around 1000 or something about 1000 and that only can control the subwoofer control means it can punch exactly at the same time when the frequency in the music comes out and it will stop exactly after the frequency ends that's the way it should work and that should be controlled by the amplifier the damping factor of the amplifier that's one of the reason and there are certain causes that may not be because of the damping factor of an amplifier and such issues you can adjust by yourself so if the damping factor of the amplifier is not the problem with your system then it must be because of the crossover setting if the crossover frequency is set too high then the subwoofer plays the frequencies that should be handled by the mid range speakers also another issue must be because of the placement if the subwoofer box is near a reflective area then it will amplify those unwanted frequencies also and gain setting may also lead to a bloated sound so make sure all those settings are right and test your sound system with a hard kick punch music it should come and end just like this it should stop after the punch that's the way a subwoofer must be